John Christopher Depp II is an American actor, producer, and musician. He has been nominated for 10 Golden Globe Awards, winning one for Best Actor for his performance of the title role in Sweeney Todd, The Demon Barber of Fleet Street, and has been nominated for three Academy Awards for Best Actor, among other accolades. He is regarded as one of the world's biggest film stars. Depp rose to prominence on the 1980s television series 21 Jump Street, becoming a teen idol. He has gained critical praise for his portrayals of an ex-screenwriter director Edward in the film of the same name, undercover FBI agent Joseph D. Pistone in Donnie Brasco, author Jane. Barry in Finding Neverland, and Boston gangster White T. Bulger in Black Mass. Depp is the third highest grossing actor worldwide, as films featuring Depp have grossed over US$3.7 billion at the United States box office and over US$10 billion worldwide. He has been listed in the 2012 Guinness World Records as the world's highest paid actor, with earnings of US$75 million. His most commercially successful films are the Pirates of the Caribbean series, which grossed US$4.5 billion, the Fantastic Beasts film series, which grossed US$1.3 billion, Alice in Wonderland, which grossed US$1 billion, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, which grossed US$474 million, and The Tourist, which grossed US$278 million. Depp had a supporting role in Oliver Stone's 1986 Vietnam War film Platoon and played the title character in the 1990 romantic dark fantasy Edward Scissorhands. He later found box office success in an adventure film Sleepy Hollow, the swashbuckler film series Pirates of the Caribbean, the fantasy films Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and Alice in Wonderland, the animated comedy western Rango, and most recently Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. Depp has collaborated on nine films with director, producer, and friend Tim Burton. Depp was inducted as a Disney legend in 2015. He has performed in numerous musical groups, including forming the rock supergroup Hollywood Vampires along with Alice Cooper and Joe Perry. Depp was born on the 9th of June, 1963, in Owensboro, Kentucky the youngest of four children of waitress Betty Sue Palmer and civil engineer John Christopher Depp. Depp moved frequently during his childhood. He and his siblings lived in more than 20 different places, eventually settling in Marama, Florida in 1970. Depp's parents divorced in 1978 when he was 15. His mother married Robert Palmer, whom Depp has called an inspiration. At the 2016 Grammys Depp played a song in tribute to Palmer, stating, so the words of the song was this toast by my stepfather, who made his exit about 15 years ago. He was this really cool guy. He was a bit of a rounder. He spent about half his life in prison, in Statesville Ill. And he had this toast. Here's to you, as good as you are. Here's to me, as bad as I am. You're still as good as you are, as bad as I am. With the gift of a guitar from his mother when he was 12, Depp began playing in various bands. A year after his parents' divorce, he dropped out of Marama High School to become a rock musician. He attempted to go back to school two weeks later, but the principal told him to follow his dream of being a musician. He played with the Kids, a band that enjoyed modest local success, from 1980 to 1984. The Kids set out together for Los Angeles in pursuit of a record deal, changing their name to Six Gun Method, but the group split up before signing a record deal. Depp subsequently collaborated with the band Rock City Angels and co-wrote their song Mary, which appeared on their debut Geffen Records album Young Man's Blues. On the 20th of December, 1983, Depp married Laurianne Allison, the sister of his band's bassist and singer. During their marriage, she worked as a makeup artist while he worked a variety of odd jobs, including as a telemarketer for a pen company. His wife introduced him to actor Nicolas Cage, who advised him to pursue an acting career. Depp and Allison divorced in 1985. Depp is primarily of English descent, with some French, German, and Irish ancestry. He is descended from a French Huguenot immigrant and from colonial freedom fighter Elizabeth Key Brinstead, daughter of an English planter and his African slave. In interviews in 2002 and 2011, Depp claimed to have Native American ancestry, stating, I guess I have some Native American somewhere down the line. My great-grandmother was quite a bit of Native American, she grew up Cherokee or maybe Creek Indian. 
makes sense in terms of coming from Kentucky, which is rife with Cherokee and Creek Indian. Depp's claims came under scrutiny when Indian Country Today stated that Depp had never inquired about his heritage nor was he recognized as a member of the Cherokee Nation. This led to criticism from the Native American community, as Depp has no documented Native ancestry, and Native community leaders refer to him as a non-Indian. Depp's choice to portray Tonto, a Native American character, in The Lone Ranger was criticized, along with his choice to name his rock band Tonto's Giant Nuts. During the promotion for The Lone Ranger, on May 22, 2012, Depp was adopted as an honorary son by LaDonna Harris, a member of the Comanche Nation, making him an honorary member of her family but not a member of any tribe. Critical response to his claims from the Native community increased after this, including satirical portrayals of Depp by Native comedians. An ad featuring Depp and Native American imagery, by Dior for the fragrance Savage, was pulled on August 30, 2019 after charges of cultural appropriation and racism. Depp's first film role was in the horror film A Nightmare on Elm Street, in which he played the boyfriend of heroine Nancy Thompson and one of Freddy Krueger's victims. After a starring role in the comedy Private Resort, Depp was cast in the lead role of the skating drama Thrash In by the film's director, but the decision was later overridden by its producer. Instead, Depp appeared in a minor supporting role as a Vietnamese-speaking private in Oliver Stone's Vietnam War drama Platoon. Depp became a popular teen idol during the late 1980s, when he starred as an undercover police officer in a high school operation in the Fox television series 21 Jump Street, which premiered in 1987. He accepted this role to work with actor Frederick Forrest, who inspired him. Despite his success, Depp felt that the series forced into the role of product. He subsequently decided to appear only in films that he felt were right for him. In 1990, Depp played the title character in Tim Burton's film Edward Scissorhands, in which he starred opposite Diane Weist and Winona Ryder. The film was a critical and commercial success that established him as a leading Hollywood actor and began his long association with Burton. Producer Scott Rudin has stated that basically Johnny Depp is playing Tim Burton in all his movies, although Burton disapproved of the comment. Depp agrees with it. In his introduction to Burton on Burton, a book of interviews with the director, Depp called Burton, a brother, a friend, and brave soul. Depp's first film release in 1990 was John Waters' Cry Baby, a musical comedy set in the 1950s. Although it was not a box office success upon its initial release, over the years it has gained cult classic status. Depp had no film releases in the following two years with the exception of a brief cameo in Fred is Dead, The Final Nightmare, the sixth installment in the A Nightmare of Elm Street franchise. He appeared in three films in 1993. In the romantic comedy Benny and June, he played an eccentric and illiterate silent film fan who befriends a mentally ill woman and her brother, it became a sleeper hit. He then starred alongside Leonardo DiCaprio and Juliette Lewis in Lassa Hallstrom's What's Eating Gilbert Grape, a drama about a dysfunctional family. In his review of the film, Todd McCarthy of Variety said that Depp manages to command center screen with a greatly affable, appealing characterization. Depp's final 1993 release was Amir Costa Rica's surrealist comedy drama Arizona Dream, which opened to positive reviews. In 1994, Depp reunited with director Tim Burton, playing the title role in Ed Wood, a biographical film about one of history's most inept film directors. Depp later stated that he was at the time depressed about films and filmmaking, but that within 10 minutes of hearing about the project, I was committed. He found that the role gave him a chance to stretch out and have some fun and that working with Martin Landau, who played Bella Lugosi, rejuvenated my love for acting. Edward received critical acclaim, with Janet Maslin of the New York Times writing that Depp had proved himself as an established, certified great actor and captured all the can-do optimism that kept Edward going thanks to an extremely funny ability to look at the silver lining of any cloud. Depp was nominated for Golden Globe Award for Best Actor, Motion Picture Musical or Comedy for his performance. The following year, Depp starred in three films. He played opposite Marlon Brando in the box office hit Don Juan de Marco, as a man who believes he is Don Juan, the world's greatest lover. He then starred in Jim Jarmusch's Dead Man, a western shot entirely in black and white. It was not a commercial success and had mixed critical reviews. 
Depp's final film of the year was in the financial and critical failure Nick of Time, a thrill in which he played an accountant who is told to kill a politician to save his kidnapped daughter. In 1997, Depp starred alongside Al Pacino in the crime drama Donnie Brasco, directed by Mike Noodle. He portrayed Joseph D. Pistone, an undercover FBI agent who assumes the name Donnie Brasco in order to infiltrate the Mafia in New York City. To prepare for the role, Depp spent time with the real-life Joe Pistone, on whose memoirs the film was based. Donnie Brasco was a commercial and critical success, and is considered to contain one of Depp's finest performances. In 1997, Depp also debuted as a director and screenwriter with The Brave. He starred in it as a poor Native American man who accepts a proposal from a wealthy man, played by Marlon Brando, to appear in a snuff film in exchange for money for his family. Depp was a fan and friend of writer Hunter S. Thompson, and played his alter ego Raul Duke in Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, Terry Gilliam's film adaptation of Thompson's pseudobiographical novel of the same name. Depp's next venture with Burton was the period film Sleepy Hollow, in which he played Ichabod Crane opposite Christina Ricci and Christopher Walken. For his performance, Depp took inspiration from Angela Lansbury, Roddy McDowell, and Basil Rathbone. He stated that he always thought of Ichabod as a very delicate, fragile person who was maybe a little too in touch with his feminine side, like a frightened little girl. Depp has generally chosen roles which he found interesting, rather than those he thought would succeed at the box office. Critics have often described Depp's characters as iconic loners. Depp has referred to some of his less successful films as studio-defined failures and box office poison, and said that he thought the studios neither understood the films nor did a good job of marketing them. In 2003, Depp starred in the Walt Disney Pictures adventure film Pirates of the Caribbean, the Curse of the Black Pearl, which was a major box office success. He earned widespread acclaim for his comic performance as Pirate Captain Jack Sparrow, and received a nomination for the Academy Award for Best Actor. Depp has said that Sparrow was definitely a big part of me, and that he modeled the character after the Rolling Stones guitarist Keith Richards in cartoon skunk Pep Hello Q. Studio executives had at first been ambivalent about Depp's portrayal, but the character became popular with audiences. According to a survey taken by Fandango, Depp was a major draw for audiences. Depp was again nominated for the Best Actor Academy Award for his performance as Scottish author J. M. Barry in the film Finding Neverland. The following year he starred as Willy Wonka in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, which reunited him with director Tim Burton, with whom he had not collaborated since Sleepy Hollow. The film was a box office success and had a positive critical reception, with Depp being nominated for the Golden Globe Award for Best Actor Motion Picture Musical or Comedy. Chocolate Factory was followed by another Burton project, Stop Motion Animation Corpse Bride, in which Depp voiced the character Victor Van Dort. Depp reprised the role of Jack Sparrow in the Pirates sequels Dead Man's Chest and At World's End, both of which were major box office successes. He also voiced the character in the video game Pirates of the Caribbean, The Legend of Jack Spiro. In 2007, Depp also collaborated with Burton for their sixth film together, this time playing murderous barber Sweeney Todd in the musical Sweeney Todd, The Demon Barber of Fleet Street. Burton had first given him an original cast recording of the 1979 stage musical in 2000, and although not a fan of the musical genre, Depp had grown to like the tale's treatment. He cited Peter Lorre and Matt Love as his main influence for the role. Although he had performed in musical groups, Depp was initially unsure that he would be able to perform the role, which required him to sing. He recorded demos and worked with Bruce Whitkin to shape his vocals without a qualified voice coach. In the DVD reviews section, Entertainment Weekly's Chris Nashawadi gave the film an minus, stating, Depp's soaring voice makes you wonder what other tricks he's been hiding. Watching Depp's barber wield his razors. It's hard not to be reminded of Edward Scissorhands frantically shaping hedges into animal topiaries 18 years ago. And all of the twisted beauty we would have missed out on had never met. Depp won the Golden Globe Award for Best Actor, Motion Picture Musical or Comedy for the role, and was nominated for the third time for the Academy Award for Best Actor. In director Terry Gilliam's 2009 film The Imaginum of Dr. Panassas, Depp, Jude Law, and Colin Farrell each played the character initially portrayed by their friend Heath Ledger, 
who died before the film was completed. All three actors gave their salaries to Ledger's daughter Matilda. Depp next starred in Michael Mann's 2009 crime film Public Enemies, in which he portrayed real-life gangster John Dillinger. The next Depp Burton collaboration was Alice in Wonderland, in which he played the Mad Hatter alongside Helena Bonham Carter, Anne Hathaway and Alan Rickman. The following year saw the release of the fourth installment in the Pirate series, On Stranger Tides, which was again a box office success. Depp also voiced the title character, a lizard, in the animated film Rango. Depp returned to Hunter S. Thompson's work with a film adaptation of the novel The Run Diary, which also became the first project undertaken by his production company, Infinitum Nile. Depp next starred in the Burton-directed Dark Shadows alongside fellow Tim Burton regular Helena Bonham Carter, Michelle Pfeiffer, and Eva Green. The film was based on a gothic soap opera of the same name which had aired in 1966-1971 and had been one of his favorites as a child. Depp and Graham King produced the film with David Kennedy. The film's poor reception in the United States brought Depp's star appeal into question. In 2012, Depp and his 21 Jump Street co-stars Peter DeLucy and Holly Robinson briefly reprised their roles in cameo appearances in the series' 2012 feature film adaptation, which featured a much more comedic tone than the TV series. Depp starred as Tonto in The Lone Ranger, opposite Army Hammer as the title character. Depp's casting as a Native American in that film brought about whitewashing controversy, and the film was a box office bomb that caused Walt Disney Studios to take a US dollar 190 million loss. The next year, Depp appeared in a minor supporting role as the wolf in film adaptation of the musical Into the Woods in 2014. Depp played convicted Boston crime boss Y.T. Bulger in director Scott Cooper's Black Mass, which earned him his third nomination for the Screen Actors Guild Award for Outstanding Performance by a Male Actor in a Leading Role. Depp also filmed a cameo appearance for the film London Fields, which remained unreleased until 2018. In 2016, Depp played businessman and United States presidential candidate Donald Trump in a funny or die satire film entitled Donald Trump's The Art of the Deal, the movie. He earned praise for the role, with a headline from the AV. Clug declaring who knew Donald Trump was the comeback role Johnny Depp needed. The same year, Depp reprised the role of the Mad Hatter in Alice Through the Looking Glass, the sequel to Alice in Wonderland. Depp was secretly cast to play Gellert Grindelwald in a cameo appearance in the 2016 film Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, a role he is expected to reprise in all future sequels. Grindelwald is a dark wizard who once shared a close relationship with Albus Dumbledore, a major character in the Harry Potter film series. Depp was also cast as Dr. Jack Griffin slash The Invisible Man in Universal Studios' upcoming shared film universe entitled The Dark Universe, a rebooted version of their classic Universal Monsters franchise. Depp was slated to appear throughout the series' installments, as well as in the film The Invisible Man, which is intended to be a reboot of the 1933 film The Invisible Man. However, after the first film set in the Dark Universe The Mummy received generally negative reviews from critics and performed below the studio's expectations at the box office, producers Alex Kurtzman and Chris Morgan left the franchise. As a result, Universal put a hold on future projects while they create a plan for future releases. In March 2019, it was reported that Depp was no longer attached to the project. In November 2016, Depp teamed with David Lynch, J.K. Simmons, Laura Dern, Penelope Ann Miller, Chad Coleman, Richard Chamberlain, Catherine Hardwick, Theodore Melfi, Sam Raimi, Peter Farrelly, and the non-profit Make It Film Foundation for a volunteer project entitled The Black Gindler, with short film written by Anthony Conti. The movie is a story about a young man risking his life to save a young girl he has grown to love, after his family has been killed in the apocalyptic world of zombies. The film was released in April 2017. Depp reprised his role as Captain Jack Sparrow in the 2017 sequel Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales, the fifth film in the series. The film was directed by Joachim Inning and Espen Sandberg, and co-star Javier Bardem, Jeffrey Rush, Brenton Thwaites, Kaya Scodlerio, and Orlando Bloom. Depp co-starred in the mystery drama Murder on the Orient Express, as Edward Ratchet. Principal photography began in November 2016 in the United Kingdom. Kenneth Branner directed the film, an adaptation of the classic novel of the same name by Agatha Christie, and also played Detective Hercule Poirot. 
Depp voiced the title character Sherlock Gnomes in the animated movie Gnomeo and Juliet. Sherlock Gnomes, the sequel to Gnomeo and Juliet, directed by John Stevenson. The film was released on January 12, 2018. He starred in City of Lies, the film adaptation of the book Labyrinth by Randall Sullivan. Depp portrayed Russell Poole, an LAPD detective who, with ally Jack Jackson, an investigative journalist, attempts to solve the murders of rappers Tupac Shakur and the notorious B.I.G. The film was set for release on September 7, 2018, before being pulled one month before it was scheduled to open. City of Lies was later screened out of competition at the Noir Film Festival. Depp then starred in the comedy drama Richard Says Goodbye, which premiered at the Zurich Film Festival on October 5, 2018. Depp also reprised his role as Gellert Grindelwald in Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald, the sequel to Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Depp's casting received some criticism from fans of the series due to the domestic violence allegations against him. The film was released on November 16, 2018. Thank you for watching. Please, subscribe.